I know what you're thinking. How long am I gonna see that blue tape stuck to your wall, mija? Till like mid-November. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it, okay? There's just other things that have taken up my time. Just saying. But hello guys, how are you? I didn't do a proper intro, hi. <laughs> Happy Friday, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend ahead of you. Today we are gonna be going through my garbage. Honestly, it's been like eight months since I did my last empties video and wow, we have a lot of stuff. Like this bag has never been heavier ever. I have a lot of glass products. And when I sat down to look through this bag because I never look through this bag, I always just like throw things in it and I don't think about it. I realized that there was a bunch of new things I haven't talked about in these empties videos because sometimes I feel like it can get a little repetitive since I'm always using the same stuff. But I have makeup in here, skincare, hair care, a bunch of perfumes. There's a lot. So I don't want to ramble because I don't want this video to be long. We're going to breeze through these products. I really should invest in a new bag. I've used this same bag since like 2015. All right, I'm gonna start with the obvious ones first, the ones I always talk about all the time. Of course, I went through a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Of course, I go through these like water, honestly. It's my ultimate favorite setting spray. I also went through some wipes, the typical wipes. It never changes around here. It's either the simple ones from the drugstore or the Cojun Dose Spa Water Wipes from Sephora. I really wanna get into not using wipes anymore, you know? Jesse has been telling me like, girl, stop using wipes. Have you guys tried Face Halo? It's like that towel makeup remover thing and it's less wasteful, so I wanna check that out. I go through so many brow whizzes that sometimes I don't even throw them in the bag, I throw it in the garbage because if not, this would be filled with brow whizzes. I definitely know I used more than this, but I have two of the brow whizzes from Anastasia and a Precisely My Brow from Benefit. I love this one as well. The brow whiz is my ultimate favorite, but I do really love this one too. Of course, I repurchase every time. I went through the Rio Gio Be Gentle, Be Kind Matcha and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo. This was a really nice shampoo. I liked it. I felt like it made my hair really clean, but it wasn't my absolute favorite. I really enjoyed it when I was using it, but once I tried their banana coconut shampoo it changed the game and I no longer cared about this like this is nothing to me like nothing <laughs> it doesn't come close to the Brio Gio banana shampoo but that one was pretty good I wouldn't go out and purchase it though I would 100% purchase the banana one we finished up some Tatcha skincare folks this is the essence from Tatcha and I do have a little bit left you can see it there, but I've had this for so long. I should have definitely finished that though, cause <laughs> that's expensive. Like extremely, like extremely. But I do really, really enjoy this. This is one of my favorite products Tatcha has. It's kind of like an anti-aging skin softening serum. And I love using this on my skin like three times a week before I go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, my skin just feels so much softer. I really see a huge difference when I use this. I think it's so great. It's an investment for sure, but for me, I really see a difference. The Luminous Dewy Skin Mist is a cult favorite. It's a Tatcha classic, of course. I used to love this so, so much. This was like my number one for a really long time. And I do really love this. I think it gives you a beautiful dewy glow, but I think that you can get similar results for a more affordable price. Like my 4-3 Beauty Glisten Up Face Mist gives me the most delicious, hydrated, youthful glow. It just, I'm obsessed with it. And that's such an affordable face mist that I look at something like this and I'm like, hmm, I don't know, you're beautiful. So beautiful, but it is very, very expensive. Would I buy it again though? Absolutely. I'm currently on another bottle right now. Like I will always have this in my collection. I love it. It's just, it's very pricey, man. Should I do the perfumes? Should I just do all the perfumes right now? Why not? Let's do it. Oh, I still have some here. Oh my God. This is one of my favorite, favorite perfumes of all time. This is Donna by Valentino. And I originally bought this perfume when I was first going to Vegas. I know a lot of you guys know this, but for those of you who don't know, whenever I'm traveling to a new place, like a new city that I've never been before, I like to buy a new perfume and I'll wear it the entire time that I'm on that trip so that when I'm back home, <laughs> Every time I put on that perfume, it will remind me of that place. This is definitely my Vegas perfume. Every time we go to Vegas, I've been there like 
seven times now. I always wear this perfume and don't get me wrong, I do wear it here like when I'm home all the time, but I try not to use it that often. It's so good. Every single time I wear it, somebody stops me to ask me what I'm wearing. I was even walking through the lobby once in Vegas and somebody ran after me just to ask me what perfume I was wearing because they had smelled me when I walked by. I thought it was a subscriber coming to say hi. It was so funny, but I love those moments. And of course I would repurchase, I already did. Ooh, can't throw these. <laughs> oh my god, I was such a hater of this perfume when I first bought it. Because if you know me, I definitely prefer a sweet perfume. I just think that those scents really work with my body chemistry and they last forever on my skin. So something like this, even though this is like a fresh sweet scent, it still wasn't like my typical fragrance. And now it's one of my favorite perfumes ever. Ever. It's such a beautiful scent that lasts a bajillion years on the skin. One of my most long wearing perfumes. I'll have people tell me that I smell good after I've had this on for like 10 hours. It's insane. And that I will say is 100% my favorite thing about it. But besides that, it does smell really beautiful as well. And in my opinion, the longer it's on your skin, the more it warms up and it gets so yummy. I love it. This one is one, oh by the way, yes, I already repurchased that. It's like on my shelf, I'm looking at it right now. So this one, however, is not one I will be repurchasing. Although I loved the scent so much, it just does not freaking last. I swear I spray this and like 10 minutes later I don't smell it and I'll even ask people around me because sometimes you don't smell things on yourself but other people will smell it and unless they like bury their face in my ear, they can't smell me. I cannot have that. This is Gucci Flora and this one is Gorgeous Gardenia. They have a bunch of different ones but Gorgeous Gardenia is my favorite. If you guys have ever smelled Viva La Juicy, this is exactly the same. Exactly the same and just like Viva La Juicy, this doesn't last either. Viva La Juicy does not last on me. They smell heavenly, so good, so sweet, so yummy and I love how I smell like the moment I put it on but... <laughs> no, I will not repurchase you. Okay, actually we only have one more perfume. The Lancome La Vie Est Belle. I said that wrong. La Vie Est, La Vie Est Belle? I don't like the packaging on this perfume at all. I don't know why. Something about it that I really don't enjoy. But I do enjoy this perfume. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's such an elegant scent. It's very sweet, but very sophisticated. It's not like a young, sweet... <laughs> It's the perfect mix of like fresh and sexy. I love this so much. And it's super, super, super long wearing as well. I definitely smell this at the end of the night. I will be repurchasing this. I just haven't yet because I have so, I have so many perfumes. So I'm gonna hold off for now, but it is a favorite. It's so funny that this is in this bag because I just freaking repurchased this for my most expensive makeup sold at Sephora video. This is the Christian Louboutin, <laughs> still don't, so I don't know how to say that. Their Lash Amplifying Lacquer Mascara in the shade Coal. It's their black one. Not gonna lie, one of the best mascaras I've ever, ever used, which it should be considering it's like a trillion dollars. It's more than anyone should ever pay for a freaking mascara. And had I filmed this video two months ago, I would have said, <laughs> me repurchase this? Never! But I did, but only for a video. A more reasonable mascara. <laughs> this is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It's my favorite mascara to use on my lower lash line because it's a tubing mascara and so it doesn't smudge on my lower lash line ever and I find that so many mascaras smudge on me. So whenever I use this mascara, that never happens. So I have to, have to, have to have this mascara at all times on deck ready to rock and roll because it's one of my favorites and I will always repurchase this whenever I run out. I love it on my top lashes as well, by the way, not just on my lower lash line. It's the most easy, most comfortable mascara to ever exist and your lashes look amazing. I also finished up the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara from Hourglass. I liked it, don't get me wrong, I just didn't think it was anything out of this world. I didn't really get that much volume or length. It just was very average and it wasn't that great. I, I feel like some days I liked it, some days I hated it, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan and I personally won't be buying this. This was sent to me, but I will not go out and buy it myself. 
I went through a bottle of concealer, which I know isn't impressive, but I have a lot of concealer. So the fact that I dedicated so much time to this one guy, it means a lot. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's my favorite concealer when I want a really glamorous, full coverage under eye, but that isn't gonna make me look dry. It's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, but to me, it's a little bit more natural, which I like. Oh my gosh, I feel like I went through this foundation forever ago. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the shade Light. I have like this much left, but the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because it's pretty freaking old. I went to go put it on the other day and I was like, mm, no, 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 this is already, I've used so much of this, it's like almost empty and I've had this for too long. But I am 100% buying myself another one because I really, really loved this foundation so much. It has a very sheer finish, light coverage, it's so dewy. You look youthful, hydrated, like super hydrated. I really, really love the finish of this. It's not the most long wearing foundation, but I really love it on natural days, so I wanna get myself another one. We have two bottles of the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Eye Cream. I've gone through so many of these, I feel. I love this eye cream, it's my favorite. I still have yet to find an eye cream that I love as much as this. I will go through a couple and test them out, but I always go back to this bad boy. I have so much darkness on my under eyes, and this does a really, really good job of taking that away. It just gives me a fresher, brighter appearance to my under eyes and I really, really love that. It's the one eye cream that I feel like I see a difference right away. House of Lashes has the best eyelash glue in my opinion. I like the duo one as well, but to me, nothing compares. I love Love, love, love this one. I always go back to it. I already repurchased it. There's two sitting on my vanity right now. Best lash glue ever. I have been loving the, what is the name of this? Phyto, Phyto Paris Moisturizing Mask. You can get this at Ulta. This is an amazing, amazing hair mask. I already have another one sitting in my shower right now. The main thing about this is that it has jojoba oil in it and it's such a nourishing hair mask. My hair feels incredibly soft when I blow dry it and I definitely see a difference when I don't use this hair mask. Like for example, I didn't take it with me on the cruise. I didn't take any hair mask and I'm used to using a hair mask in place of conditioner and it was fine. It worked. My hair was soft but not as soft as when I use this hair mask and not as shiny either. I love this. And then last but not least, we have a photo finish primerizer from Smashbox. Probably one of my favorite primers. It's such a hydrating, nourishing primer. I love using it underneath any foundation. I feel like it stays nourishing throughout the entire day. Sometimes you'll put on a primer and it'll sink right into the skin and you're like, oh, okay, that did nothing. This is a super hydrating product and I feel like it makes a huge difference in my foundation like throughout the day. It's great for those of you with dry skin. I highly recommend it, I love it. Not the best for like long wear, but great for hydration. Okay guys, so that's it. These were some products I recently used up or threw out for one reason or another. Please let me know if this is a video you actually enjoy in the comments. I don't know if it's something that I should continue doing maybe every couple of months. I'm not sure, do people still watch these? Do people still like these? Please let me know in the comments. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Porter is so on point, so on cue. He comes right up to me the minute he hears my outro. He just knows, man. Anyways, bye.